David Curry is president and CEO of Global Christian Relief. He also serves on the U.S. State Department's Commission on International Religious Freedom. And he joins us now with more on what's happening in the state of Manipur, India. David, who's behind these attacks on Christians and their churches? Well, there's some ethnic tensions in Manipur, uh, which is in the northeast. It's a state in the northeast of India. But the attacks have really been driven. It's been an escalation by, I think, the central government, the BJP party, which has made a, being a Christian something that's not considered part of India. It's, it seems as though their message is, if you're not a Hindu, you're not a real Indian. And this has allowed this escalation of violence against Christians and Christian churches. We have dozens of Christian churches that have been uh, destroyed since May 3rd when these uh, riots began. And you have hundreds and thousands of people, I think we're almost up to 9,000 right now, who have been displaced, Christians who have been displaced because of this violence. Regardless of how they frame it, whether it's ethnic violence or anarchists, it seems to always be that the Indian government is overlooking and even in some cases encouraging violence against Christians in India. Now, as you said, David, many Christians are displaced. More than 30 churches have been burned. How are they surviving right now? Well, right now they're in shelters. I uh, got some more video feeds. Uh, there's people shoulder to shoulder sleeping in shelters, makeshift uh, shelters in some cases. So they're literally just on the run. And this happened just a few months ago in November, December, January in Chhattisgarh, a totally different area. That's why I say that we have to look at the pattern of behavior. In both cases, especially right now in Manipur, we have video evidence that shows the police assisting the rioters in attacking the churches. This, this is why you have to look at what they do, not what they say. And the central government and the local government seem to be in collusion with rioters that attack Christian churches and individuals. Why is the national government fueling violence against Christians? Well, India is 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 a country that has lots of different languages, lots of different currencies. They've they've been very pluralistic in many ways, but since 2014, when uh, Prime Minister Modi took over, he's been trying to force a one India vision, one religion, one currency. He's pushing his agenda forward, and that means that Christians and even Muslims have been attacked and pushed out in many cases. Christians are most affected in India right now because of the violence. And there's 65 million Christians there. Many of them are under severe persecution. David, what are you hearing from the Christians there? How is this affecting their faith? Well, the, their faith is being strengthened in this in many cases. In some cases, uh, uh, people are you know, just very frightened because the violence seems to come out of nowhere. It's as though they're using any political motive. The, the baseline of this particular attack started when there was a bill passed that was gonna give a special uh, dispensation to a, a certain group within India. And they turn around and decide they're gonna attack Christians because of it. So there's always a premise that they start with and they use it as a jumping off point to attack Christians. This makes for a very random existence for Christians in these rural areas and even in some more populated areas. How should the U.S. and the international community respond to all of this? Well, I've called upon the State Department at the highest levels to address this with India. And reality is this has been a massive escalation since this government took power in 2014. Hundreds of percentage points in a uh, jump in violence and attack on Christians. It's no accident. The State Department needs to address this. Friends don't let friends commit human rights atrocities. That's the, the motto that I try to remind them of. We need India. It's a beautiful country full of beautiful people. And I realize there are geopolitical angles to this with regards to China and other things, but the government has to stand up. I would also say this, this is a point where Christians in America and in the West need to stand up and speak out on behalf of India, share these stories, share the pictures, no matter how difficult. We have some on our website to show the violence and how these attacks happen and pray for Christians in India. David, what is your organization, Global Christian Relief, doing to help these suffering Christians? We have a relief to these people who have been displaced. 
uh, housing, shelter, uh, anything we can do to help them stabilize and to be salt and light in the most difficult of situations. So people can be part of that. There are relief efforts that help directly these thousands of people who have been displaced. All right, David Curry of Global Christian Relief. Thanks for your work, sir, and the work of your organization. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.